Welcome back to In The Works, uh, the project where we show the work we're doing anyway. It's random stuff day to day. So right now I'm about to profile grind the knife for a customer that ordered it. it has to be done before Christmas. So here I go. Wait, you're grinding it? Shouldn't I grind it? It's my knife. Oh, what else are you doing? Uh, I don't know yet. If I have time, I'll start beveling the Ginata. Maybe, maybe not. And I have a big long sword for Blaze Show 2019 to start forming and engraving. Shut up and sit down. on today is kind of what I've been working on. It's prepping my individual pieces inside my billet so I can put the weave together and start tack welding together. Now, I've done all the pieces so far. All I have left is to do the little cubes that go in on all the terminations of the billet. I gotta switch the contact wheel out for the platen and get started. I'm going to start by using an 80 grit. Now one thing I've learned doing pattern welds is when I first started I kind of came from a ceramic background where you'd like to score and slip your pieces when you put them together. So I always thought real rough surfaces would bond best together but that's not at all what you want to do. You actually want to take it up through the highest grit possible. So I'll be moving from an 80 to a 220.
tricky things about the fuse are when I go to put it into my final billet, making sure I have the right side up, the one that shows the pattern. Because I have a tube, I can easily get confused on that. So I'll probably, when I put my billet together, kind of have to be able to stand by with a little ferret and just wipe the surfaces to make sure I have all the right uh, faces of the tube facing up, showing the correct pattern. Otherwise, it's pretty much just going to be a flat surface with no pattern at all. And uh, that was tough. You always see me grind with gloves on. This is pretty fiddly work. Gloves are kind of getting away. So I'm grinding on as much as I can before the fuse gets too hot. Put it down, do what the next one, come back, do it you know, you know the deal. You know the deal.
wait for this to cool off so I can grab it on this side. You all good so far? It's going good. Nothing D-Lamp. <laughs> That's always a good thing. So I have a dagger blade here. I started a few months ago, uh, kind of let it sit around. It got some tarnish on it, a little rust. I'm gonna take it out to the Scotch-Brite, gonna work it over, polish it up a bit, get it to where it needs to be. With my pieces all basically ground to shape now, all my flats are pretty precise. They're not perfect, guys. I didn't use a precision grinder, but I got them all ground on the platen sander. I'm now starting to do my layout on my billet once more. I'm really happy with the fit so far, but you can see I have a few little pieces that I got to tweak. Let me show you. You can see everything's fitting pretty nicely. Flat up against each other. I have some little bits like right here where you can see this billet extends a little bit beyond my square. So I have to take this piece now, go to the sander and shorten it just a tiny bit. Once I've done that, I'll move on to the next size pieces and then uh, keep going until I'm satisfied with the fit. And then I will be ready to start tack welding this thing together. Home stretch. Well, kinda. I mean, not really, there's a lot more to do. But I feel pretty good. Yeah. All right, I've ground that piece now. Let's see if it fits any better. Oh, that's nice. All right, fits pretty good. I think that needs to be flipped over though. In there somewhere. That one flipped over as well. Well, it's not very good. 
Where are we? There we go. Alright. That's pretty good. Start on the next billy. I'm okay with a little bit of gapping. A little bit of gap is okay. Because we're initially gonna forge weld this by hand, probably gonna have to use a charcoal forge to keep the atmosphere just right. I've ground these edges on a slight, the ends of each one is ground on a slight angle. So sometimes I don't set them just right. Usually I can flip them until they do set. Pretty good. Oh. That's not very good. There we go. That. Uno mas. Boom. That's pretty good. Let's see how the squares fit. So my cubes, they go on the end, facing up like that, and then everything gets ground back flat. Uh, there are a lot of options you can do playing with this type of construction. Uh, I've seen some, some of our friends out there on the internet basically create this edge like this and then make a side edge billet that is hound toothed, that fits in with these angles and then forge weld them on that's really cool the problem I have with doing that on my billet is that I'm already really really wide for a core so what I'm gonna do is stack all these cubes like this And then basically take that jagged hedge off the core by grinding these all flat once the whole thing's tacked welded up. And then, uh, and then I'm going to make another pattern bar that sits up against here that wraps the whole core. Then I make another wrap that becomes my edge. Pretty ambitious, but as you can see, this is super cool. It's like a blacksmith necktie. The formal pattern. Pretty gnarly. It's not pretty, just MIG welded tack together. At this point I'll be able to flip the billet over and TIG weld the whole other side so it's nice and welded together. Then once that's done I can go back and grind all these flat and then move on to forge welding. Oh, oh. It's all one thing now. Oh. Excite? Much Very excite? Much excite.
Kind of like my MIG welds? No, dude. These are, when you do the cuts, it's splinters. It's small, tiny needles that get everywhere. So what are you doing? So, all right. The fantastic thing is, this is my project for uh, Blade Show 2019. As you can see, I have my hood on. I'm going to tighten this up and wear protective goggles. The reason is, so I have these preformed, forged in, and pre-drilled and filed. However, I want to turn them into leaves. You can see already some of this right here. The whole guard is going to be engraved. The whole sword is going to be engraved. And some stones will be set into an engraved pommel later on, guard and maybe even the blade. Now, all of the pieces are Damascus. So I have to be very careful because it will set me back weeks making these. Well, don't mess up. Yeah, I won't. Trust me. It's almost as if someone's practicing the violin. Okay, that's about enough of that. Ho 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 
Oh, 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 Thanks for watching in the works. Be sure to like and subscribe to That Works. That's what he meant to say. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out some of the other content on our channel.